If you're looking to lose belly fat, it's important to not eat rice. Rice is extremely insulin spiking, which is our fat storing hormone. Instead of rice, you can try eating these five foods to help you with your weight loss goal. And that first food is hearts of palm rice. This might sound a little niche and you either love it or you don't really like it, but it's literally made from one ingredient and that's hearts of palm. And it only has two net grams of carbs per serving, making it really low in insulin spiking potential and therefore one of the better options for achieving your weight loss goal, especially for weight loss around the belly. And it's gotten a lot more popular lately. You can find it at pretty much any health food store. There's common brands like Palmini, but I believe even Whole Foods and Trader Joe's has their own brands too. And it's one that you can even order online. Which if you're new here, my name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. On my channel, I teach you the simple science-backed methods to help you achieve your weight loss and wellness goals. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Okay, and the second alternative is cauliflower rice. This might get a bit of an eye roll because a lot of people have been using it, but it's because it is such a great replacement. One cup of cauliflower rice only has two net grams of carbs. Compare this to the one cup of cooked rice, which has about 44 net grams of carbs. Cauliflower rice is my personal favorite because it's so versatile. You can have it with pretty much any type of cuisine. I like to get those really big frozen bags from Whole Foods, but I think even Costco has really big frozen bags of cauliflower rice. And I always make sure to have some on hand because it cooks up in like five minutes. I'll pan saute or I'll put it on a cookie sheet to bake it and toss it with a bunch of different spices. Some really great ones are like chili powder and salt or paprika and garlic powder. I also use it to make burrito bowls like with the recipe from my 21 day intermittent fasting program. So easy. And it's actually just such a great replacement from both a weight loss and a taste perspective, especially when you season it right. The third is broccoli rice. I have to admit the first time I heard this, I was like, that's gonna taste interesting. <laughs> but it can actually be used in a lot of similar ways as cauliflower rice. And one cup only has four net grams of carbohydrates. But it's probably a little less versatile than cauliflower rice. If you love broccoli, this is a great option for you. If you don't really like the taste of broccoli, there are ways to add flavors, but you'll probably wanna opt for the cauliflower rice instead. And just like cauliflower rice, you can find pre-riced broccoli at pretty much any health food store or you can always make your own just by grating it with a cheese grater or throwing it in a food processor. But I honestly like the convenience of the pre-frozen options. It saves a lot of time. Okay, the fourth is cabbage rice. Now this one you probably won't see as often pre-riced, but it's so easy to do. You can just finely chop it up into rice or you can throw it in the food processor. Now, other than cauliflower, this is probably my other favorite. They're like kind of tied because since you're chopping it yourself, you actually have a little bit more control on how you're going to be using it. Like, yes, you can make a rice. You'll see that a lot of people like making fried rice with cabbage, especially if you add in garlic and onions. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Pair that with some scrambled eggs. I have my daily lunch right there. <laughs> you can also just slice it, make it into noodles. And one cup only has 2.5 net grams of carbs. Don't knock it till you try it, especially with garlic and onions. It is amazing. <laughs> okay, the fifth is butternut squash rice, which is a totally different flavor than the previous four that we just mentioned, but it is a great way to switch it up. It is going to be a bit higher net carbohydrates. So if you're carb sensitive, you might want to either decrease the amount you're using here or off for some of the other ones I mentioned earlier. Because one cup will have around 16 to 17 net grams of carbs, but it's still significantly lower than just regular rice. Literally about a third of the net carbs. And you get so much more nutrients from the butternut squash versus just white rice. And you can get pre-chopped butternut squash. My personal favorite is going for the frozen butternut squash. Then you can just throw these cubes into the food processor, process it up a couple of times until it resembles rice. And you can pretty much use it in any cauliflower rice recipe too. Now, if you have a weight loss goal in mind, make sure you check out the 10 foods that can help you to lose belly fat with this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.